Go ahead. So we're changing the strings on this Solar Gonzalez. Uh, I'm going to give you a few pieces of suggestion, uh, and then you can do this on your own. Uh, we're using these Corum Savarez strings, New Crystal. They have several different Corum strings. We're going to see how these sound on this guitar. Another possibility is the Corum Alliance, which has more brilliant trebles. I think this is probably going to be the best, but if the trebles are a little muddy, the next time we'll use the Alliance. We change one string at a time to keep the tension on the neck the same. Mm -hmm. We don't want to. Sometimes you can take them all off if you need to do something inside, but as a general rule, it's better to change them one at a time. So I've loosened the sixth string. I'm going to move from the sixth string to the first string. Very carefully taking it off. If you take it off too aggressively, you can scrape the top as you pull the strings through. So I need to loosen the next string because you'll see that the, the tail of the string has been tucked under the higher string. And in fact, um, you'll see that, that each string goes under the next one until we get to the, to the uh, oh, actually, this is not the way I usually do it. So when we get to the top string, we're going to have it tucked down under this. So the B string is going to have both the G and the E string tucked under it. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to loosen the A string a little enough to get the E string out. I don't generally use a string winder. There's no mm -hmm. reason not to. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm always a little anxious about when you're mm -hmm. using a string winder, there's a possibility of, of uh, it popping off and scratching the guitar. So, mm -hmm. so it's not a big concern. You can use your own judgment, but I just usually wind up doing it by hand. So now this should slide out. violating my rule of not loosening mm -hmm. too many strings at once, but we need to, uh, this, this was strung by the person who, uh, who did the restoration work on this guitar. When did you do that work? Um, last year, maybe a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. These strings are rather old, but they haven't been played very much, which is why they look so good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, you see how this banged down on the top, which was gently, but you have to <laughs> try mm -hmm. to avoid smacking the, smacking the string into the guitar top. Mm -hmm. Pull this out. The most dangerous time is as you pull it through here, if you pull it through too quickly, it can gouge the top, which is what somebody did right there mm -hmm. long ago. I think that was my teacher. So, sixth string. Easy. Says on the each string is numbered. Mm -hmm. The strings have this particular kind of string has a silk core which is exposed at one end. That's the end we're going to put down here. Mm -hmm. On the bass strings, generally I just do a single twist. On the treble strings, I'll do more. So I'm going to go through on the outside, mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and under, so that the string is facing up towards the next, the end is facing up towards the next string. Mm -hmm. Then we'll pull it gently down. And there's a little, exercise that you have to do to get the end of this, the tail of the string on the other side of the tie block. In other words, we don't want it to be up like this because that won't grab well enough. We need to have it down hmm. below the tie block. Is this, do you think this is coming through on your camera? I don't know. So, hmm. the, end pro the end result is that hmm. the, the the, the bottom of the string has to, has to catch the tail of the string outside the edge of the tie block. 
Then we pull this up here. I normally rotate the barrel so that I can get a nice even pull there. Now, on the lower strings, I just push the tail to get a little angle down here so that it's not sticking out straight but it's coming at an angle so that will help it to grab. And then as I start to tighten it, the string always should be lying across the top like this, not going down underneath. Mm -hmm. As I start to tighten it, look at the angle that the string makes from the nut to the hole. In this one, on the sixth string, it goes in slightly. So what I want is I want the end of the string to be to receive the pressure. You see, I want I want the uh, the string to wind up so that it has tension against the end of the string. So I have pushed. I'm pushing the string inside the end of the string. So you see here, as the string tightens then, it's going to push pressure over on this tail. Whereas if I had it on the outside, it wouldn't be putting any pressure on it. So now watch what happens as I tighten it. I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to put a little, and hold it off to the side here. So now the first winding, because of this angle, it's it's squeezing that string right there. But doesn't it go over the string? No. no. Why does it squeeze? It's squeezing because this this is at an angle. Yeah. So that so the so the, the the tension on the string is tending to pull this over that way. So it is not under. It doesn't. No. Why do we go? Why shouldn't it go under? Because it could break the string. The tension of the string is strong enough that it will break the wire. Mm. Sometimes. Uh, on the on the low east on the eastern especially, mm. I only do it this way. So, as additional wraps go go around, it's pushing harder and harder on those strings there. Yeah. So that will hold it in place and keep it from slipping. I see. I see. I would have so, done it differently. This is the this is the technique that I've found works the best. But he, uh, the, the original is kind of done differently. Yes, the original is done differently, and I'm going to show you how the way that she did it. I don't I don't like, um, but There's I'm going to but I'm going to show you a different way. Uh, actually, no, this is all right. This is the way I do this. So this one you can see has been wrapped under. Yeah. And is holding. That one. Nice. That I want to. And that is good to do. That's right. On 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 all the treble strings. And on the D string I do it, and sometimes I do it on the A string, but I don't do it on this one, and yeah. I don't do it on the lowest string because it will sometimes break, and I've had to happen. Mm -hmm. they, because this, this wire is very brittle. Mm -hmm. So um, the A string, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It depends on how, on how soft mm -hmm. the strings feel in my mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. So I think we can turn off, right? Uh,